Hey guys, remember to hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment so I know what you really think about me. Enjoy. Command module. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped. And you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hall. Then in the walls, you see a portal, a glowing display, and the control deck. A ladder leans aft. You don't know how to get started. Type help and press enter. What next? Look. Display. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled Route Details and New Destination. Route Details. The screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spiral spin water at its system, far faster than you can fathom. New destination. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so abstruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. Can I scroll up in this? No. Um. Look around. Uh, da, 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 da. Lining the walls, you see porthole, display, control deck. Okay, let's look. Porthole. <laughs> porthole. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. Okay. Look. Control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot, right? That'd be weird, because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Open porthole. Ask your parents about the space thing sometime. Mom, what's space? Punch display. You can't just go breaking things on a spaceship. You'll punch a hole in the hull. Well. I appreciate that you have a response for that. Oh right, there's a ladder. Ladder. Go up ladder. Go, how about I spell up right first? You climb across the ladder, Captain's Quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. The ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Take rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hash below. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Yes! Fractions! Open pod. Lift seems to function automatically. Okay, that's not helpful. Uh, look. Nightstand. I really wish there was music here. It's getting very... Bleh. Okay, cool. Open. Nightstand. Take manual. Read manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer and command module. After leafing through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set a route back to Bug Mars. Oh yeah, one up by two and, and an eighth points. Cool. Um, I really wish I can scroll up. Scroll up. Damn. Rug. Look, rug. Take rug. Uh, hatchway. Hatchway. Go hatchway. I forgot what it was called. Open hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pop opens. Enter hatch. How about I spell enter right? Engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker 
you know, grey machine sitting in the corner. Hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarter. Um, look, goop. I think Cody is sticking pick goop. Take goop. Taste goop. You're not hungry. Fine. Be that way. Don't tell me how to live my life. I tell you how you live yours. How about that? Look, machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read paper. This is the out of order note included in your game package. Take paper. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Take tape. Yes! Nice. My tape. Um. Look, control panel. Most of the control panels render unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what looks like radio. A row of what look like radio preset buttons. Ugh. All but two which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. No, these are l legibly labeled. Press button. The raise button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency says in robotic voice. Okay. Press button. Mom specialties now. Okay, 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 okay. Pull lever. Pull lever. Ah! The machine was dispensing mom's specialty. A voice says, Pink Goom streams down the faucet, splashing against the flat platform again everywhere. A couple drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor of bacon milkshake. Why would you recognize that flavor? Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says, wearing sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into the invisible vents. Cool. Leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified. Cool. Button. Push button. Pull lever. Dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zorkmans. Yes. Float on the faucet, bounce off the flat platform, and scan around the room. Take. Zorkmans. Spent a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zorkmans. Oh yeah, I got a third of a point for that. Fractions. Pull lever. Oh. Leave? No. Okay, what else is here? Uh, can I take the blobs now? You can't get any from a mount just by collecting loose goop. Well, watch me. Uh, what is it? There's something about wires. Look, wires! Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Take can. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking and it comes in contact with the adjacent strut. You glance down what you're taking, huh? It really is a coffee can. Take goop. Put goop in can. Open can. Look can. Press button. Pull lever. Put can. Put can on platform. Pull lever. Yeah. Now my can is stuffing it. 
Not sure why, but I got it. Book wires. Um, poor goop. Might help if I spell poor right. Poor goop on wires. Taste wires. Lick wires. <laughs> Touch wires. You try to pull the wire away from nearby components, but it returns to the natural position touching the strut. What's in my inventory? Right, um, use tape. Use tape on wires. You wrap the tape around the bare wire insulating and your score has gone up by one and two third points. Awesome! As intended. Uh, you definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engine roar you feel, G forces shift, the ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through bug customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Cool. Uh, let's see, can I just go Captain's Quarters? No. Go up ladder. Use pod. Open pod? Sleep. Your head has barely touched the pillow when alarm begins repeating. Perfume chamber empty. You will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like that. Perfume ch What? Okay, there's a hole in the sleeping pot. That's what it is. So put goop in hole. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby garage fills up. Now I sleep. You lie down in the sleeping pot, close the lid, and drift off. Secure that in 57 something years, you'll return to Bug Maws, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blearingly glance around, you get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a hot shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A oh, wispy human figures in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps and realizes that you've been transmogrified into a human form. Uh, 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 no! No! My tongue! What have you done, woman? Ah! Watch out, man! They're eating your fruit! Ah! You wake with a star, what a horrible dream. You call your friend Dragon the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yellow? The dragon says, I just had the worst nightmare you explain the situation. I'm not sure that support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following. Dragon ponders. If we jumped up a little publicity first, I know, just PR agency. Five minutes later, Dragon shows up at your door dressed to the nines. He tells us a frog tuxedo you, put this on, baby! We're wrong for president! Hey ya! Cannot hop, what say you to allegations that you're not natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? Uh, what? <laughs> oh god, this is really fucking hard. Yeah, fuck it, bind mash. I, is there a loss? Can I lose? No. How did I get an eight combo in there? I saw that. I'm just pressing random buttons. Is this is this is there going to be an end? I 
I, I don't know what's happening. Well, all I know is I'm a frog. Oh man, you smoked him! You're a shoe in president! And that's how you become president, kids. When in doubt, become a frog and go dancing. All hail King Fog! Betsy Blue Bonnets. Sir Clarence Gastropod. Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. Morgay Hill. And introducing Draggy Sellington Gator as himself. Created by Twinbeard. Numerators and denominators. And God bless Here's America. Your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Bug weather thunderstorms. Bug common manager weather report thunderstorms. Bug assets two million zorkins. Cost to produce bug porn. Ten thousand zorkin per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Hmm. So I have two million. It takes ten thousand per megabytes. Hmm. Well, so that means I need at least two hundred. Yeah. Don't worry, this is a very temporary bug software engineer. Hard work on bug cell ninety eight. How many pop up banner ads do you want to purchase? I mean, I don't have any left, so zero. <laughs> I don't put ads on my porn. What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Well, I gotta make a profit, right? Impressive wingspan. <laughs> Day one results the in house bug porn musician decided to make bug J pop today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seem unaware of porn today. Press space. Hmm. So I lost a lot of money there. I have 90,000 left. How many Zorkas do you want to order the Bug Federal Reserve to print? Zero. That confident, huh? Yeah. Oh boy. What do I got here? Oh, I can't afford shit, man. <laughs> Just keep on installing it. I love it. Cool, cool, cool. Weather report, bug assets are 90,000, cost produced bug porn. Uh, zero. Do I still have the... I'm hoping I still have the other ones. Uh, what's so side? Let's see, I want a... And four. Relax. Just be yourself. Day 2 results. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up everyone wants to see. Severe thumbs are hit bug... Porn. Wait, what? All oh, your bug porn's ruined! Hmm. You know what? I will start from the very beginning again. Okay, so I have 30,000. But you know what? I better get that targeting system back, just in case. No, it's an outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driven production cost up. Great. I will make a single megabyte of porn with a single pop up of porn. I prefer something more, uh, more than a Eh, stop talking. 
Bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. Bug porn sensor brought all your bug porn at lunchtime. Uh, da, 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 you sold it. Yay, I made money. You know what? Let's get rid of that targeting system. Oh no, a thunderstorm! But how would that affect my porn trade? Uh, it takes, what, 15? You know what? This is going to be really good porn. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Ah, <laughs> classic bugs. Superb performance made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. You made one megabyte and sold zero. I legitimately don't have enough money. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. It's not my problem. Uh, let's see what it says. I am at... I don't even know how much money I gave myself. Uh, what is that? A solid 50... billion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much bug porn do I want to make today? So let's see, if it costs 1200, I will make 50 megabytes of bug porn. With 50 Papa Banner ads. And I will charge one hundred thousand dollars. Impressive wingspan. <laughs> the in-house bug porn musician does that. Blah 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 blah. The dry weather makes thirsty bugs clam for your product. Bug bugs complained incessantly about your high prices. You made you sold ten of them. Blah 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 blah. blah. Profit, I lost money. You know what? Satellites! That's what we need. And let's do a 50-50 again, and fine, I won't make it so expensive this time. Stupid bugs. Relax. Complaining about their expensive Help. porn, how dare they. Juvenile bugs po- yeah, yeah, yeah. Bugs marveled at your low prices and... kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn, you made a lot. Bug weather, cloudy. Don't worry, I got this. I know, I know how to do the things. Let's make a nice, solid... 8,000. Oh, I can't actually afford it. 800, then? Something more, uh, yeah, 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 whatever. The in house bug poor music, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Profit was only 13 million, okay. I could buy myself a nice swimming pool right now. Let's see the pool provides a filling or wet environment in which bug president can relax. We're done taking a break here. We need to get back to work, huh? Mm. 
かーFactions. Oh, is it over now? Are we sure? Damn, Jim Storm Dancer, you did a lot of shit in this game. Good on ya. So by the way, this was a totally realistic scenario, like based off a true story about our first frog president. Here's some nice bug porn, hope you enjoy. YouTube don't demonetize me, I swear it's educational. True story about a f frog, went to Mars, fought space invaders, became president of Mars, not necessarily the US on Earth, it's US on Mars. Became president. We got a nice historical, like learning of how where boxing came from. Totally true. Totally accurate. Oh yeah, get in on that bug porn. And that's just how you do, it, man. That's just, this is how you become president. It's all you got to do. When in doubt, dance party. Remember, when in doubt, dance party. If I've learned anything from Guardians of the Galaxy. Sometimes you just gotta have a dance off, man. Sometimes that's all it takes. You just gotta go, uh, uh, uh. oh yeah, dance off to save the world. If Peter Quill could do it, you can do it too. If this frog can become president, what's stopping you? That's what I thought. Nothing. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Make them real. Do as the frog does. Sometimes you just gotta use your, you know, super long prehensile tongue and eat all the bugs before they reach your fruit. And then use that fruit to purchase, like, a new targeting system. And then use that targeting system. And then you cut it out because the woman don't like it. But then you put it back in because it's actually useful. But then you take it out again because, eh, you want to go all natural. But then you put it back in because it's actually useful. But then you take it out because it's actually a bit slower. But then you pull it back in again. So you can look at this high def bug porn. Because that's the secret. Is bug porn. Like, that's how you make the money. High quality bug porn. Congratulations, you finished Frog Fractions as Certified Frog Fraction Yeah, but are you ready for the ultimate Frog Fractions experience? By the hops, I kind of kept the OC experience a day in the life of Frog wearing a hat! I feel as though you're playing an entirely different game. Okay, this actually opens it up. Cool. Oh, dude, just take me to the sound test. How do I... okay. Is there more to this or not? I don't think there's more to this. So thank you guys so much for signing by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye